I see. Fascinating. I'm counting. I found new power. I see. Fascinating. Really? Good. I'm still getting stronger. New skills, new possibilities. Good. I'm still getting stronger. I found new power. You can trust in me. Nice! Sounds like a lovely time. All right, then. Well, what do you want to do? No! That's... You would pursue peril. It's your call. Disappointing. The prize is already in my hand. All that's left is to wait until it might be awoken. The people must think I'm the one behind the madness in their hearts. Okay. I can see why you felt such hopelessness. The more anxious the people grow, the more they choose blind fanaticism over confronting their fears. This was no fault of yours. Simply their nature. Knowing all this, I shall claim the ideals you abandoned and finish it in your stead. But I have my own interpretations to add. The Skybound Avatar. Taking on the face of His Majesty, the Royal Palace rose to the sky on the day of his own funeral. Is it still the palace as it once was? It is impossible to tell from the ground. The gauntlet runner arrives at the entrance, at last marking the prince's fateful return to the place he was once forced to abandon. Palace has changed to the shadow of its past. It is just as chaotic within.
Your Majesty, do you hear me? I speak to you as His Highness, the Prince's Royal Guard, Halkenberg, Knight in your service. His Highness, the Prince, your heir apparent has just arrived. Will Your Majesty break the spell and allow His Highness to succeed the throne? I think we're getting an answer, no matter how long we wait. No choice but to venture in. We must tread carefully. I can sense the presence of humans inside. This place is swarming with magla too. Even I can feel it. Where's it all coming from? It must be the anxieties of the royal capital's people. And by extension, of the entire country. Luis would call it righteous. But in the end, he's only preying upon the people's fear. Let's go. There's bound to be something inside that's driving the people mad. We've got to pin down its source. What is this? Come on. Ready? You 
having a laugh? So you've come. Wait. Don't tell me. You! What is it? Push through! 
Could you? I didn't know I had it in. What now? I see. Fascinating. Retained my edge. New skills, new possibilities. the play. No holding back! Untamed magic! I won't hold back! You hit the weakness! This is the power of the to the Get the heck out of here! Progress. Got it. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Hey. That's surely right. All good. All right. Yeah. 
wield greater power with it. Good of you to come.
All right. That might come in handy in a pitch. New possibilities. I have found new power. New skills, new possibilities. I think we're in the clear. We must be vigilant. Hey, good one. Nice find. Add it to the collection. Yeah. <laughs> 
Trust in me. Nice! Sounds like a lovely time. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Hey, nice. What now? Ready?
Okay. Listen to me. I must speak plain. Since the disappearance of His Highness the Prince, you have left the land's governments to Sanctifex Fordham. I understand the weight of your grief. To lose not only your love, and now His Highness. But ever since Sanctism was established as the state religion, Fordham has well overstepped his bounds. The man's audacity has grown intolerable. It hardly matters. That Ford will do as he pleases. In the end, nothing will truly make a difference. What's wrong? You look fixated on something. Did you see something? Actually, just now... The late king? 
I saw nothing. But all that sounds too specific to be an illusion. It's almost like that exchange happened right here. Perhaps. It was a memory from your life as a prince, restored to you. No, this attendant mentioned the loss of his highness, right? So he must have been gone already. It can't have been something he experienced. Then perhaps it's from the memory of His Majesty himself. This place is the heart of the royal magic. Maybe the late king's will itself still lingers. Perhaps it was passed through the Magla, and the memories are meant for him alone, as the king's child. If all this is true, then it goes to show His Majesty was a parent like any other. He thought he'd lost his son, and that grief became his undoing. Maybe it's not about the king's memories, but his anxieties. You're seeing what his heaviest burdens were. Mm, that may be true. Right. A king certainly does his kingdom a disservice by refusing to rule it. But Larisse actively defiles it. And that's clearly the greater offense. He's turned the royal palace into a den of monsters. There's unknown dangers around every corner. Let's carry on, but stay vigilant. this. New skills, new possibilities. New power. New skills, new possibilities. Let's go. Ah. Watch out. Goodness. What vexes you? Come on now. What is it? Hey! 
Yes.
I mean... I want to say... She'll be in the clear now. Watch out! 
Quick through! Quick through! Oh, that looks lovely! getting stronger. New skills, new possibilities. Good. I'm still getting stronger. New skills, new possibilities. I found new power. Good. I'm still getting stronger. New skills, new possibilities. Good. I'm still getting stronger. I found new power. New skills, new possibilities. I see. Fast. I'm kept. new power I see fast oh good I'm still getting stronger I see fast I'm counting up New skills, new possibilities. I see. Fasten. I found new power. I see. Fascinating. New skills, new possibilities. I see. Fast. I'm counting. Oh. Good. I'm still getting stronger. I'm fascinating. I'm counting. New power. I see. Fascinate. I'm counting on you. Good. I'm still getting stronger. New skills, new possibilities. New power. Good. I'm still getting stronger. New skills, new possibilities. I found new power.
Good. I'm still getting stronger. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Look! Right. Get ready! Go! They're weak to piercing attacks! Put them all in one fell! They're weak to ice! I won't hold Let's back! Stop Let's roll. work together! Let's go! Pierce through! I shall vanquish evil! Keep it up, Stroll! Let's stay calm. By this power! I'll cut through! Check me out! I shall strive to... Does it seem that I... I'm better and stronger. Good. Tom. No way. <laughs> Just saying. Got a moment? 
The festivities for this year's Saints' Day shall be conducted with the utmost ceremony. A fine opportunity to expand the market for igniters and spread them among the people. Along with this policy, we will announce the closure of the Mage Academy. What? Why close the Academy? The reports are troubling, I'm afraid. They secretly study dragons and other profane forces deep in the mountains. The people could not abide it. With the popularization of magic igniters, all this theoretical study of magic will soon be obsolete anyway. Unless you have any objections, my liege. No, no objections. Let it be so. Thank you for your efforts. How can a king accomplish anything alone? What was I supposed to do? Another vision, Your Highness? I... I saw something different than before. His Majesty was exhausted then. His attendants did mention that he no longer possessed any real authority. Sounds like he had no one to support his spirits. I admit, I do pity him there. Beyond that, though, do you suppose he means for us to see these? If these memories are hand-picked, then do they not come off as excuses? Strong. It's just... His own son is risking his life in here. He deserves more from the king than regrets and memories. All right. Be careful. <laughs> where it all began, then. Now we know Forden manipulated Brella to attack the Prince, then tried to shift the blame to Luis to get him pushed out of his station. No doubt Forden underestimated Luis as a mere child. And when he regained his grasp on the military, the Sanctifex was taken entirely by surprise. How little of this I understood before. Yet now, all is clear. But the Prince made it back. He's come this far to do what must be done. You speak true. Thank you. I failed in my mission that day. But I will not fail a second time. Huh. Fate is a strange thing. 
What began in these halls will soon end here. But the fight is not against any agent of the curse who remains, just two of its victims. Not that strange to me. Just means we've moved on. We've already nixed the curse, and this fight ain't just over the past anymore. Silio. Indeed. This battle shall decide the future king. <laughs> Wasn't expecting anything so profound from you. <laughs> you wanna take this outside, old fella? Wait! Something's coming! This uncanny magla... is this... So you've come. But you will go no further. What have you done to yourself? Ah, of course. This is your first time seeing me like this. Witness how I've ascended to even greater heights. Wonderful. Is it not? Lord Luis can take a wretch like me, someone fate condemned, and turn me into a man of power! Zoba, you... Did you... willingly endure Luis's spell? Did you let him twist your form? So it's true then. No matter someone's tribe, he can turn them human, and make them a monster. What the hell is worth that? You call this a man of power? Luis turned you into an abomination. Call me what you wish. This is the form I desire. If Magla is a person's anxiety, why resist it? If you long to be liberated, you need only unleash it. In Lord Luis's world, strength is the ultimate judge of all. Nothing else matters. It's freedom and fairness. We're moments from the dawn of a perfect new world. And how many sacrifices do you reckon it'll cost? What does it matter? What world was ever won without sacrifice? No, to be bled on an altar so fair and just, it's a noble and beautiful thing. Lord Louis strives to build us a utopia, and I, not you, shall be first to make it my home. You would dealt a winning hand in the game of life. By sheer chance, you have everything I never will. I will not let you soil our new world. You'll die before you ever set foot on liberated ground. With this power, I nurtured under Lord Luis. I will deny you everything! Now die! All of you die! There's no place for parasites like you in our new world! What point is there to a new world if it costs innocent lives to make it? Save your breath, Stroll. He is beyond reason. You're one to talk of reason, you imbecile. I'm not here to chat. I'm here to annihilate you. This is why he fought for Louise so... Let's go. Light! <laughs> Take my first power. No, let's combine our powers. Let my power support <laughs> I call upon royal power within! It's a weak point! Keep it up, Stroll! Maybe we can at this rate. Our world Here has I go. no room 
for the likes of you! Not this time, I ask for your aid! Now is it for the souls of kings, give me strength! Tougher than I thought. Will this even work? Enemy. Lord Louis. Enemy. Damn it! Not again! Lord Louis! I've grown more powerful. Marvelous. I feel stronger already. Damn it! Why? Why does this world keep rejecting me? How could you push your body this far? Your deeds bespeak a heart of incredible loyalty, Zorba. It is a tragedy that you have pledged it to the wrong man. You're the ones who've got it wrong. This world doesn't have much longer. I know you feel it too, deep down, don't you? Nobody has any choice in how they live their lives. They don't even realize it should be their decision. You can't change that world without destroying it. The only man willing to fight for a better world is Lord Luis. Why can't you see that? I get it now. Zorba, you're the only one who understood everything Luis wanted, and fought for it anyway. I don't care if I'm just a stepping stone. Lord Luis can build his world on my corpse. A world of beautiful equality, where only the Chosen may live. Zorba. There was naught to be done. He chose his path. Tell and I never knew how to deal with him. Always gloomy and moping about. Then he'd burst with this sudden anger, shouting and lashing out like. Thinking back on it now, makes me wonder if the outbursts were all cries for help. Hmm. Was it really Luis who did this to Zorba? Oh. We can't waver now. I'll not deny, Luis's words ring true in some ways. But he turned Zorba into a monster, and not with words alone. However badly Zorba wished for it. If Luis really cared to protect him, would he have pushed him to such horrors? It's all a fallacy in the end. A fallacy, eh? You suppose all that business about equality is just a smokescreen? His ambitions are just dead selfish? I don't know if I buy it myself. Would Luis tell such a shallow lie? There might be something else to this. But Zorba never turned against him. Indeed, or in heart. And he still twisted him like that. It wasn't for his protection. Speaking of which, he mentioned something curious at the end. He spoke of a new world of beautiful equality, where only the Chosen may live. In other words, only those who obey will survive. That's the deal Luis has been spouting since the start. I get the feeling that's too simple. Remember Rella's vision? A land full of feral humans, with people either running or going mad. 
I just doubt we can take Luis's speeches at face value. If his true intentions were as simple as that, Rella wouldn't have left us with that image. You think Luis still has a real purpose we're not aware of? No point in pondering it here. We're bound to find him eventually, so we can question him then. The last statue is close by as well. Let us move onward, that we may do what must be done. Time to go! <laughs> Even so, Havoc at the cathedral months ago? No. Couldn't be. If that's the man who was working for Luis, he'd be long dead. Wait. Has he been alive this whole time? Was he turned into a monster? I told you, didn't I? It's just like what happened to the prince. Luis is behind the whole thing. Finally ready to talk, are we? Listen up, good people! Luis has lied to all of you! So, so then, all that about the fake prince being a monster, that was a lie? But, 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 but still, as long as we obey, Count Luis will protect us. Oh, come off it! You can't just take Luis at his word, people! This Sorba, the man who just crashed down, was one of the Count's most loyal men! This was Luis's doing. If that's the case, even if we obey, we don't know what he'll do to us. This is what I've been telling you. Luis isn't wiping out these monsters. He's bloody well mass-producing them. There's even evidence he's giving them orders to attack. Look, we're talking about a man who's openly declared he'll execute anyone he feels like, even average citizens, if they don't fall in line. Is that the king you want? No, lies. I don't believe you. Count Lewis is our savior. He's supposed to save the world. But what if he turns us all into monsters? <sighs> about time. Is this the moment the royal capital wakes up to the truth? Is that? <laughs> well, well. What's the situation? Have we even the slightest hope of defeating Luis? Been a long time, my lord. You've always had a keen eye for reading the situation. Well, the winds are changing. Now, it's just a matter of what you choose to believe in. <laughs> Can you smell it? There's change in the air. <laughs> Things are finally getting interesting. Whose voice is just now? That was Batlin, and the others, wasn't it? 
Hell sounded startled to see Zorba's corpse. Finally, a reasonable reaction. Seems we've destroyed all the statues then. That should help get people back on our side, don't you think? Indeed. The sight of Zorba must have finally gotten it through their heads. All Luis has to offer them is insanity. Remain. Then our people are at last sound of mind. Your vile magic will deceive them no more. My magic? I deceive no one. What do you mean? You were responsible for all this chaos, weren't you? <laughs> In any case, there can be no more doubt. Your support and mine have finally reached power. You've come quite a way in the short time since the day of your despair. Commendable in all honesty. A marvel indeed. Perhaps I can no longer afford such indulgence. So be it. Come to the throne. With the power of the royal scepter in my hands, I will give you what you deserve. You have the royal scepter? Surely you haven't. And as we may now speak plain, I will tell you the truth of both the Royal Scepter and this very country. I'll be waiting. Wait! So Luis got his hands on the Royal Scepter? This is bad. Extremely bad. Even should we win the majority vote, it won't matter who the new king is. Luis alone would have the power to doom the entire nation. We've just got to get it back. He wants a face-to-face -face showdown? Well, we'll give him one. Hurry! Such a countenance. So you truly are the Prince Reborn. I must say, you and your father are cut from the same cloth. Quite unpredictable as death looms. What of you? Is this hornless form your own true being? I'll say this here for your own good, Luis. Hand over the Royal Scepter. Only the one who has earned the people's support is fit to be king. You and us. We can still end this without more bloodshed. No path forward is bloodless. The king may have avoided it, but the people will only shed his shed. That has been this country's crime for too long. Those in power exact the price of their greed from the people then preach that such pain is a natural trial to be overcome. The indolent powers of this land have poisoned it with their lives. There is no cure but destruction. Who's the real charlatan here? You turn people into monsters and convince them it's salvation. Even Sorba, 
your most loyal vassal, you twisted into a monster. You promise protection to your devoted, yet always fall short of the mark. I have never lied. I swear upon my name, it is one of the greatest trespasses I can imagine. Have you never wondered why the king's magic is so strong and force? Or why the royal scepter can only be used by those who bear the public's favor? One royal hand clutching one bejeweled rod does not alone accomplish such wonders of magic. But what if it drew magma not from its wielder, but from the masses? That is the truth. The royal scepter is a divine relic that absorbs magla from people across the kingdom. And thus, the royal magic's power is near inexhaustible. Such has been the royal family's tradition for centuries, generations upon generations. Do you know what this means? Magla is mortal anxiety, which means that the people of this country now have no choice but to perpetually direct their anxiety to the king, simply to stay safe. Absurd. And how do you explain the people of the capital going mad? It was no madness that took them. The Magla spews from their helpless hearts at a rate far greater than the scepter can absorb. Hence the stagnation. The behavior now on full display is their inborn, true nature. When they cannot control their fears, they lash out at neighbor and outsider alike. And that is mortal weakness. That's who they really are. <sighs> In a world like this, order built on mutual understanding is but a dream within a dream. Before we achieve resolution, the people must be corrected. On the day the late king's magic fades, I will shape the royal magic anew. All the Magla gathered over these months of turmoil will be restored to the people. Those who can overcome it will be reborn as new humans. Thus, we achieve our first round of natural selection, our first step towards a world truly fair and just. Natural selection? New humans? What absurd delusions. Delusions? You witness how the prince lost his very self to my spell, and then re-emerged with powers and will burning ever brighter. You mean... You would do to the people exactly what you did to him? You would use the royal magic to inflict such horrors on all the crown's subjects? Those who follow me and accept the rule of power will surely survive by virtue of their own will. But if they give in to fear, yes, they will lose both form and mind. That is what it means to protect those who follow. It is not a salvation given of empty charity, but earned through the providence of power. Then, that's your true ambition. That's why you sent Sorba to the royal funeral. You never even wanted the throne. It was all for the royal scepter. The shows of power, terrifying the people. It wasn't just manipulation. You justified all of that. The man would turn all people into humans. It defies all sense. Worry not. You've proven you're more than worth. I have little doubt you'll survive the first culling and move on to the new world. You mentioned earlier that we might still resolve this without bloodshed. Then, I put the same offer to you. Join me, Prince. Born of Elden blood, welcoming anyone regardless of tribe. It is no coincidence that you and I take inspiration from the same book. 
Don't let him sway you, your highness. I know you detest injustice as I do. Come with me. Let me lend you my power, and together we will change the unfair world we seek to destroy. I don't seek to destroy this world or any other. Exactly! He's nothing like you! Should you deny me, then what? How would you fix this country? You must have seen it everywhere you travel. Tradition, superstition, family honor. And all those struck down unjustly in the name of such authorities. The only cure for such suffering is a simpler world, in which strength triumphs. It is not a solution without cruelty. But surely the fairness it would restore to our lives is worth any sacrifice. Come with me, and we can realize this dream. What say you? The fairness you speak of is false. <sighs> He's got the right of it. Luis. It's not even about what'll be sacrificed. It's about having respect for what the dream costs. And you, you've got none of that. You keep talking about your laws of power. But what that comes down to is you figure some people in this world just deserve to die. If that's what you believe in, then you can hate Ford and all you want, but you're no different. Be silent. I once had my own aspirations. Yes, I had dreams. But what has the world ever done for us? <sighs> What's happening? time until my magic settles upon this land. Until then, I will watch the world collapse from my perch at the top. Wait! Luis! I have done this for their sakes, not for mine. History and the will of the people will prove that. If you have the strength to weather this storm and come to me, I will deem you a worthy opponent. Be a mercy to you, at the very least. Slaves to their anxiety and fear. That doesn't mean the solution is to deform them into monsters. The man's an arrogant lunatic. We must give chase somehow. Oh, aspirants to the throne. This voice. Your Majesty? The royal scepter has been taken. Luis now wields the royal magic to his own dark ends. Luis was one step ahead of us. We did not expect him to seize and use the scepter before the final deadline. His magic will be set in motion on the very day that the new king is to be decided. Such is the decree. So it's just as Luis said. He won't let this campaign end any way but his. The bastard always loved making a spectacle of this. Your Majesty, you were killed by Luis yourself. 
Doesn't it matter to you that he may succeed as king? I had sought death long before he granted it. You wished for your own death? But why? The ideals I once believed in. I no longer had the power within me to fulfill them. Thus, I ensured my very life would serve as the key to activate the royal magic. Should revolutionary fervor seek to destroy my regime, should Luis or any other malcontent take my life, therein would lie the catalyst. Thus would I appear, on a day so appointed, with form and voice, given life by royal magic. I see. No wonder the magic survived even the prince's reawakening. It was never a matter of retaliation against the church or anything of the sort. You truly wished to pass the crown to whoever the people elected of their own will. Oh, prince. My son. If thou wouldst inherit the kingdom, thou must stop Luis. That is a trial befitting one who would take the throne. His Majesty's Magla has faded. I guess that's it. It really is up to us to save this land's future. Luis is just ahead. We have to find a way to get beyond this storm, reckless or not. Let's fall back to the royal capital for now, so we can come up with a strategy. Savior's true intent, yet the streets are teeming with self-declared military police. What's a man supposed to do when they're running around screaming about justice with bloodshot eyes? So it's a crime to even disagree now. He said this was just their nature. I suppose I can't see where his disappointment springs from. But your allies are working hard too. It's not all as bad as it looks. We are grateful. We will believe in their support as they believe in us. By the way, I talked with Nurus on how to get to Luis's location. And of course, he said there's only one thing for it. Armor up the Skyrunner and dive in. That's your strategy? Think, my girl. It's our best play. But with no time for modifications, I can't say how long she'll last in there. I say... We've got one shot to charge in. A proper dramatic do-or-die fight. The road you run is perilous. If we have but one chance, I'd say the final day is when we'd have even the slightest odds of success. Right. That place is churning with the Scepter's gathered magla. But if the casting steadily drains it away, then much of the ambient magla should be gone by the last day. Proper dramatic do or die fight at the very last minute. We would walk a treacherous tightrope until the very end. But have we ever done things any other way? We cannot yield now. Luis's ambitions must be stopped, even at the cost of our lives. Let's give it a shot. You worked out some more of the truth, yes? Can you tell me more about what happened at the Royal Palace? Luis is Elden. Everything is as we were told at the Ancient Sanctum. What? Bloody hell. That's a heavy hit right off the bat. Luis knew the truth of the Royal Scepter. It's a divine relic that absorbs anxiety from the people. That's the fuel for its incredible power. The masses have grown accustomed to a life where the king bears the brunt and responsibility for their anxieties. 
all this chaos comes from that dynamics reversal. Uh, might need you to slow down a bit. So that's his aim. Luis wants to make this a land of humans. A drastic remedy to awaken the people spoiled by the Royal Scepter's power. And their horrific transformation is but the end to his chosen means. Yet I sensed some other reason to go to such atrocious lengths. He pursues some other purpose. Well, if he's Elden, then Luis must have been there when the Sanctus Church made an inferno of his home. So, do you suppose it's for revenge? Can't say. He also ordered Zorba to directly attack the ancient sanctum after all. Something he said stuck with me. About how he used to have dreams. Dreams long dead. I think he doesn't trust dreams. As in, he refuses to believe in anything that actually takes a risk. Like connecting with people or personal change. Maybe to Luis. Dreams are just lies. <sighs> He wants to push history forward with his own hands, like those of the world past. It's ludicrous. I'll not let him get away with his self-obsessed madness. If we're to be ruled, it shouldn't be by someone who's given up on the world. Indeed. Besides, the rightful heir stands with us. Should we succeed, you stand to inherit the throne soon. Are you prepared, your highness? Yes, of course. You really are committed, huh? <sighs> In any case, we'll confront Louise on the last day. Until then, let's tie up our loose ends so we can fight with no regrets. You've done a fine job so far. Time to follow through on those campaign promises, eh? Win this one for us. Look at what Luis has made there. Unbelievable. We're getting in there, and we're going to tear it down. What's that about it? The day of the hero draws near, which shall see the crowning of a new king. Nine days remain. Have a look. The deadline? We've got a prep. All right, then. Go. You. Did you?
Ha 
<laughs> Looking like a chef already. Exactly. That's enough out of you, yeah? <laughs> uh, Oi! Let's go. Hello, uh. That's all. Welcome. Now then. Where to? Where to? Hit <laughs> 
This is you a great job. Welcome. You there. Oh, there. Can we talk? Sir. Oh, there. Can we talk? Sir. All right, then. Where to? Where to? Let's go. Of as giving it some thought. Let run of air. Huh. 
Alright then. Alright then. Let's go! All good. Appreciated. The day of the hero draws near, which shall see the crowning of a new king. Eight days remain. What to pick? All good. All right, then. Let's go! All right, then. Let's head there right away. Let's not. All right, then. Locate the stuff them. Hi. Hmm? That's right. Okay, then. Let's go get here. Now then. Oh, that's a 
choice I can get behind. It's your call. Well, are we going? That's a choice. It's your call. there. All right, then. All right, then. Let's go. possibilities. Possibilities. I found new power. Good. I'm still getting stronger. New skills, new possibilities. Good. I'm still getting stronger. I've found new power. New skills, new possibilities.
wind isn't working. Try hitting it. Hold back. Together. There's more. Oh, are there? Come on, everyone. We can't relax Blitz. yet. Lights. You hit the weakness. I'll show you. Yes, you're opening, Captain. Appreciate it. The day of the hero draws near, which shall see the crowning of a new king. Seven days remain. What to pick? Oh. All right. Now then. Not let Giving it some thought. Gauntlet run air. All right, then. All right, then. Let's go. The hero draws near, which shall see the crowning of a new king. Six days remain. 
what to pick. Locate the store of the the hero draws near, which shall see the crowning of a new king. Five days remain. This here. Oh, 
Hotels. So, you got a plan? No. Let's... It's your call. Great. Let's move out. What to pick? Mm. Understood. Giving it some thought? The gaunt air. All right, then. The hero draws near, which shall see the crowning of a new king. Four days remain. What to pick? Uh. 
Oh. shows the wrong opponent. How's that? Located to the list of them. hero draws near, which shall see the crowning of a new king. Three days remain. Look at this. How you feeling? We have to. Hey, pardon? All right. Where to? Where to? Let's head there right away. This is... Everyone is here. That's where you want to go. 
Yeah, but... It's your call. Great. Let's... What to pick? Mm. Good. I'm still getting stronger. I found new power. New skills, new possibilities. Good. I'm still getting stronger. I found new power. New skills, new possibilities. I found new power. New skills, new possibilities. Good. I'm still getting stronger. I see. Fascinating. New skills, new possibilities. I fascinate. Good. I'm still getting strong. I see. Fascinate. New power. Oh, gee. Understood. Then. The gauntlet run yet. All right, then. All right, then. Let's head there right away.
The day of the hero draws near, which shall see the crowning of a new king. Two days remain. to pick. Of ceremony rise come now. goes it. What? <laughs> so, I'll see you later. All good. Let's go see. 